Hey, what's up guys, I'm from BSC Tech. Today's video is about reviving this old buddy which is called Samsung's Galaxy S6. It might be an S6 Edge or S6 Edge Plus you are holding and you want to bring it back to life. The last update shows that it was uh, upgraded to Android 7 as you can see on my screen. And uh, unfortunately Samsung stopped further updates after this uh, nugget update. So what we will do is we will put a custom ROM and a recovery using a computer and a cable and uh, a device obviously. The guide is very simple. We will need Odin, custom recovery and a custom ROM which we can download from uh, XDA developer website based on what we like and what kind of a ROM we need. We'll keep it simple and straightforward. So we have for, downloaded for all the, the files uh, including the Odin, TWRP recovery, the Android ROM and the Google Apps. First thing we need to do is make sure that uh, the device is detected by Odin. Connect the device using a USB cable. Once you see this COM connection, close Odin and open it again. Now the next thing is we need to put the device into download mode. So power off. and then volume down, home button and power button at the same time. And wait for the device to boot it to download mode. There you go, download mode. The green ID com is not selected yet. When you press volume up button, it will automatically select. Now it's time to flash the recovery. And uh, if you click on AP, it will take you to the next step, which is to install a recovery. Open and click on flash. Don't move your device. Don't disconnect. Recovery is installed and you will see this notification on screen pass. So now we will uh, boot the device into recovery mode. Recovery is uh, finally installed and now it's time to boot the device into the TWRP by holding power button, volume up button and home button at the same time and uh, let the device boot up and when you see Samsung Galaxy S6 logo you can release this and uh, there you go we have the TWRP recovery and first thing you need to do is click on mount don't do anything else just click on uh, the mount for uh, reset data factory reset and then go back then go back and now it's time to install the custom ROM. Uh, ROM we have already put inside our uh, root directory on the device. This is a CR Droid ROM based on Android 13. We'll click on that and we'll click install. The installation process will start very straightforward and it's easy. 772 MB or 75 MB of uh, ROM size. So the ROM is now installed. The next bit is to install the Google Apps and we'll go through that. It'll take a couple of moments before the Google Apps are installed. So everything is done. Now it's time to reboot the device and see how we find this Android 30 ROM on Samsung's Galaxy S6. Home is finally boot up to the home screen and we have uh, the start uh, screen we will select uh, the initial setup from the page uh, so first thing you need to see is what we have on board we have a Samsung Galaxy G920 and uh, F and we have Android 13 which is based on uh, CR Droid and then we have a uh, couple of other beautiful uh, segments on this room so let's check uh, the notification toggle first we got very nice notification toggle GBs of storage is left on the device after installing this room which is the most important part so we have only used 13 percent of uh, space on this device system is 3.1 GB we have a Play Store we have uh, the basic apps including camera browser calculator and calendar clock and uh, contacts 
if for some reason you have problem or you're stuck somewhere you can always come back and ask me for the solution and i will see you soon with another video till then take care bye bye